on April the 13th, uh, we had uh, several kids show up for the uh, uh, volunteer day to help put down the mulch and stuff for the uh, park uh, playground equipment, the new playground equipment. So we're just going to give them a little award here because out of the 28,000 people that live in Pickens County or so, uh, these are the only ones that showed up as far as the help. So I thought we'd give them a little old volunteer. As far as kids. Board. Yeah, as far as kids. Uh, so anyway, we uh, appreciate their Watch help. Watch out, you got one behind you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, uh, Braylon. Uh, Tell her what it's for. It's for volunteers. Tell Braylon. Oh, yeah, it's for your volunteers. Uh, Gray. Look at me and Ethan. smile. Oh, Put your hand down. <laughs> okay. Also, Dairy a real Queen smile. also give y'all a free free <laughs> splendor. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, right, go back up there so they can take it down. Well, listen. Go over there so you get your picture made with them, okay? Go stand and get your picture made when we talk about it. Put your, put the, take the card out of your mouth. Give them a good smile if you want. Okay. Give them a good smile. Where I've usually seen that language is when you've got a development that creates streets that look like they might be public. Mm -hmm. The point of this is to warn residents that they're not. Because sometimes people think that they are because it looks like a road. Because it's built even to close to specifications. Um, that's where I've seen that. Well, see, the only, yeah. reason, the only reason I... Otherwise, I mean, anybody receiving an or using an easement, just an easement to access their property usually knows it because it's in their deed or... Uh, well, that was the main thing is because once I, once I sort of mentioned to, to uh, uh, Matt Chastain, I think, uh, and they said they'd never seen it. And so that's why I came up with something just to put on the language that, you know, anybody that, uh, that you know, buys property off that easement, you know, has to understand that, you know, that, uh, uh, you know, the town will never maintain that road uh, and stuff. Of course, the easement uh, ordinance was going to limit how many times you could divide that up and how many people right. you could actually have on a private drive. Uh, the, so, um, yeah. We used something similar to this for Meadowlands because they were going to be private roads. Yeah. But also because of some statements that were made on some of the issues we just had yeah. with some property being divided, I think it would be a good thing. Yeah, sure, I mean, you can do it. I mean, because I, 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 because I know one statement was made. Well, if we do an easement, why can't we turn it into a to a road later? And I'm like, mm, no, that's not gonna happen. But I guess it, it, it's just lets everybody know that it buys that property down the road, that this is an easement and only an easement, and it will never be turned into a right. private road. Right. So was you able to find out anything as far as any other county using? I, I swear well, like I, I said, I've seen, oh yeah, I mean, I've definitely seen, I have not seen it used just for easements. Right. I have seen it used for, for what's called private streets. Okay. Um, which look like public streets often because uh, a, I mean, a lot of developers want to do private streets because they don't necessarily have to build them to the specifications and that's where usually the city or the county wants to say all right but everybody understands it's not ours we're not maintaining it your homeowners association is maintaining it but as far as this but I guess why I, I guess I need to clarify what I'm talking about as far as the ordinance as far as the easement as far as the boundaries of the easement you know, how many people can be connected to that easement, right. you know, uh, how many times you can divide that property in that uh, well, driveway. Well, we might want to look at something more. You know, you had looked at the Cherokee County. And I, um, and I couldn't find it. I, I don't know if they updated or whatever. I couldn't find it. I'll, mm -hmm. I'll go back and try to look at it, too. Well, I mean, they've got a lot of good regulations that relate to things like that. And, and that we don't have those yet, you know, in terms of that definition of because what they used to have would be people creating easements 
and then it would turn it, it would be used as a roadway, and then you just end up with a big mess because the people that bought it don't understand they didn't do it the right way. So they, Cherokee ah. County, they started restricting it. You can't really develop a, any subdivision, any division of land divided into separate parcels that way anymore. Or you can only do it if, you know, you have this number of width, etc. Right. So and that's, that's worth that, looking at. And that's something we would like to look at because if talking to the county, uh, they don't have a ordinance on, on the book, but uh, pretty much they said the same thing. That, you know, you have a, a, a I guess it's called a legacy. Um, legacy lot. lot. Okay. Yep. So where, uh, you know, the family goes in and, and, the, and the mom or dad or grandparents or whatever divides that up among the family. And then when mom and dad dies, they start selling off. And that's where it becomes a problem. Or, or they've had this issues before uh, or somebody came in and, and they'll make them take out uh, if they had another lot divided and they wanted another lot uh, cut off of it and make them dissolve that person before they give them the same. Right. Uh, so uh, talking to Rodney out there, you know, just uh, trying to figure out what they had over there. Well, if you wanted to look at, I mean, adopting, we had talked about, you know, do you yeah. adopt this kind of set of regulations because we don't have anything that comprehensive, and I, I, mean, I, I think we need to do that. Because, I think yeah. we need to because, you know, the, the timber company is trying to right. sell off of several places that. Because you know what's coming, so yeah. maybe adopt the whole, you know, I mean, as much of the whole thing as would apply to the city. Because it's pretty good. I know they've worked hard on that. Okay, so could you could you take that or, or, uh, and email it to all the council members, and that way they can look sure. at it between now and you know next month. Or yeah. So. yeah, and we, we can talk so. about. Is there anything we don't want? Well, uh, well, like I said, we can just let everybody look at it because I don't think everybody's seen it. Yep. And then that way we can uh, uh, discuss it and then have a public hearing. Okay. About it. I'll do that. And I, I have seen it, Jeff, in doing title work, mm -hmm. where it may be an old family, like Randy said, it could be a family that had 20 acres, and there's five or six homes built in there, and there's one roadway in. Well, nothing's put on those deeds, and then, and even if it is, a lot of times people won't pick up on it, and then all of a sudden you've got this person that has bought into this. And they didn't realize, because maybe it wasn't shown correctly on, on a plat hmm. or something, they didn't realize it was just an easement. They mm -hmm. thought they were getting a private road. Or right. they didn't realize that right. they were responsible for helping maintain that road. Right, right, right. And that's e even with an easement. Right. I mean, because sometimes they don't realize that they're responsible for maintaining the easement. Yeah. I've, I've seen that kill a few deals. <laughs> over the yeah, years. absolutely. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Okay. All right. Uh, so, uh, um, but anyway, the next time we've been at Ethan for Chris Bennett, and that's what I was going to get him to put on his deed, uh, just to, you know, for the process, but we'll have to talk about that later. The next item would be <laughs> discussion on the beer and wine ordinance, you know, including microbreweries or wineries or vineyards. Um, is there is there a standard state ordinance that, that the state that we could just follow the state's guidelines on that? Or? No, you end up well, not really. I mean, your alcohol or which I don't think we have an alcohol. No, we don't, right and now, that's so. what that's what we're trying to work for. Right. I mean, so I would say, what are the kinds of things we want to potentially allow, and then we could, you know, craft or use an ordinance that allows those things. What kind of things do you want to contemplate letting happen? And then we just see what, what because for each thing the requirements are different. Different for wineries, different for liquor by the drink, different for liquor stores, different for beer and wine. Um, so I think you'd say here's what we want to consider and then we do whatever is necessary to talk about allowing those things and we adopt an alcohol ordinance that regulates those things. Well, Fortunately, you know, for lots of cities and have gone through all those so we can borrow. Um, I think it definitely needs others. to be something where there is a ratio between food yeah. and alcohol. Mm -hmm. I don't want just a, per se, 
far. No, no, we're not. You know, and, and, and I know that's not what you're going for, but I'm just saying, I'm just explaining to Jeff that's something that I personally yes. don't want to see. You know? standard. I, I don't, I don't have a problem with someone having a restaurant and mm -hmm. and or you know, a, like some of the wineries that we have now, they're doing wine tastings with cheese, right. you know, that kind of thing. Or a microbrewery. I, I really don't have a the problem with a microbrewery if somebody wanted, but, you know. Okay. And, and I think as far as, as far as uh, microbrewery or winery selling their own product, I don't think we have a problem with that, but I, but I mean as far as by the bottle, and I don't really think that we want a liquor store or no. or, so or, no, or no, no, yeah, no, 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 no package sales. store. No package, no package no stores. Stores. So. <laughs> Would you want restaurants to be able to serve beer, wine, and liquor? Yeah. At a restaurant? I would think so, but. Or limited to beer and wine? I would say beer and wine. Uh, I think you need. Uh, a lot of your restaurants will come for, for liquor. Well, that liquor. Because Longhorns, that's one reason they pay stuff. I mean, I know we're not going to go but, but that's one reason they pay stuff. Well, I know. I just. You know. Um, and I think, I mean, they are, and I think you end up with a difference, possibly, of the vote. Um, you may be able to do beer and wine with a restaurant without, you know, going to the voters. Uh, to do the liquor by the drink, you may then have to take it to the voters. Well, and that's I think you do too, city. and that's why I said discussing on blaming voters, vote on liquor. So that's a decision to make. Yeah. Because Whether that way, to. that way, <laughs> this year is election year, so if we can get it on this ballot, it doesn't, it doesn't cost us right. as long as we do it in an yeah. election year. And that was the only reason I was saying that if we've done that, than the voters think whether or not that sure. we can yeah. do that. Sure. Uh, no, that's all you know. But really, yeah, when it comes to liquor, usually all you are doing is saying, we'll let the voters decide. Yes. Then that way they decide whether they want that beer or not. Okay. Uh, but you're saying that the beer and wine that we can microbrew and stuff like that, that our ordinance or our charter says we can. I believe so. Okay. Right. So I would like to start uh, doing that. Like I say, no package, but you know, if somebody, you know, actually made the wine or the, the beer, right, right. they would be able to sell it in the community. What, uh, what does the county have? The, uh, Pickens County, does it, they have liquor stores? Mm -hmm. Are there package stores in the county? They don't have liquor stores in the, okay. in the county. No package uh, stores, but they... Yeah. Well, I mean, they do have beer and wine, but I don't think they have liquor stores. A liquor store? Trouts. Trouts. Got two of them. No, 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 that's in the city limits. No, yeah, not, not down at uh -uh, yeah, Appalachian County yeah, Park, yeah, that's the city limits. Yeah, that's still yeah. city yeah. limits. They okay, city, city limits go from yeah. all the yeah. way down there. So my understanding is there's no no liquor sales inside the county. Now is inside the, the city limits, they are. Is the county allowed? In the, in the, in the, in the Pickens County unincorporated. Right, right, right. right. That's what I'm asking. Right. Sometimes right. what you're determined is determined by the county at large to, to right. as your kind of baseline. Do right. they, you know if the county allows liquor by the drink yes. in restaurants? Yes. Okay. I think they voted on that. I believe they did, yes. Yeah, because I think they do up at Big Community. And Big Okay. Yeah. That's in the general county. Okay. Well, now, the city of Jasper, you know, does right. liquor by the But they do have that percentage of food. Yeah. Well, the, everybody the just pretty much food. follows the state of York. Yeah, it seems to be rare to have yeah. just straight up. Now, now, I know that the city of Jasper uh, done some ordinances on microbreweries and stuff. Uh, yeah, everybody's you know, kind of getting into that now. Yeah, I mean, I think that's a, a good thing there. Okay. Um, so, um, so do you want? Um, how would you want to proceed on that? Have the when you, when your next meeting kind well, of decide we, what you want to. Well. Uh, well, Talk I think the next meeting we're going to have to vote on whether or not we want to put that vote to the people in order for it to be put well, on the ballot. Well, that's correct as far as just for the liquor, but uh, as far as the, if we could do the microbrewery wine and, and stuff like that, we would like to go ahead and start working on our ordinance and, and having a place. Because cause there is a lot of work there uh, of, you know, they got to, I mean, we got to have somebody that can can do a background check yep. and get all like that. All the licensing. Yes, the licensing. Stuff. So, so, yeah. so basically, all we're trying to do is... That's the, I guess that's what the clerk will do. 
Well, now the background check, all you gotta do is go to the city of Jasper and pay them $55 no, no, and they'll do it. No, no, it's different. It's different on liquor license. Well, you have to have, have to have a, a permitting yeah. process. Yeah, and you have to go. Uh, you, you have to go through the uh, DIC. Uh, yeah. It's basically a background check from the Georgia Bureau. But like I say, uh, you have to do uh, several things different. But anyway, we'd like to have a place just in case somebody comes. Maybe nobody will ever come. Sure. We not have to do with this. Mm -hmm. but, you know, that way at least we can say yes, we have it on the books. Now we can, you know, kind of want, you know start the so process. You, you want us to go ahead and work on an alcohol ordinance? Yeah. I think that's good. The other, the other two won't come vote you out. <laughs> no, I talked to Jane. I talked they're, to Jane. They're, like, they're okay with the concept? Yeah, and I, and I actually mentioned them because we did have somebody who was interested in doing a winery. and a, Well, actually, a winery, a, a vineyard, but it wasn't the right lane of the lane. And then, who's that? Remember, I, 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 seen a, I, I asked everybody to remember where it is. Yeah, to see, because we did have a wine and cheese house that was interested in Mark Grizzle's place. So. So I just asked everybody if they would be considering that because that's, you know, that, that's one thing to ask. You know? So that's why I say, I mean, if somebody bought a store, that might be a selling point if they could do that. Uh, so. And um, would you be okay with, I guess, the beer and wine sales from a grocery or convenience store? Um, No, not really. I don't, I think, don't so. think so. I, I think I think, we I think it needs restaurant. to be either the microbrewery, the winery, kind of a or a restaurant. Yeah. yeah. I think I think we need to limit that. Okay. All right. We can work. And my hesitation is the same thing that Henry just said. <laughs> I was hit by a drunk driver, so I have I have reservations. Uh, Something a little bit different, and I know we didn't put on the end of it. What about, and I know things are illegal and stuff as far as different types of vaping, but is there any counties or cities trying to stop stores or how? Yeah, Forsyth County. Yeah, Forsyth County, they can, there cannot be any more stores open, smoke shops open. They just I, recently did that, I saw it on the news. Wasn't it? Was it coming or was it for side? I don't remember. But it was somebody in there. There's like one on every corner. Yeah. yeah. But but they they passed something. It was after a kid. I can't remember. It, it hadn't been that long ago, but I saw it on the news that they had put a ban on any more smoke shops. But now we have to you now we have to be careful about the language because we don't want to say say a, if a cigar shop wanted to come in. Is that considered, you know, I mean, what is the regulation as far as a smoke shop or a cigar shop, you know? Well, it's usually you, you regulate it by zone and you regulate it by where it can be and restrict where it can be. Uh, and I guess you could make something like that a, maybe a conditional use. I don't know how, you got to be careful, you can't go too strong. Yeah, that's prohibit, what I don't You know. can't really prohibit something that is otherwise legal. So you usually have to allow something that is otherwise legal. Something. And they may have just did that so that they could get a handle on what they need to think about change. because you do see them popping up everywhere. Right. I mean, that's not um, <coughs> I'd rather already have something on the books than... I'll look at it and see what, 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 how, how it would deal with deal it right with it. now and if we need to do yeah. it. Right. All right. And I guess we just need to find out the language uh, if we're going to put it for the ballot as far as the electric sales, you know, by the public um, Do you do you feel like the council would want to send that to the voters to vote if it's required? About the liquor by the drink? I I just think whether I think I don't have a problem with the beer and wine, but I think if we're gonna do anything in reference to liquor by the drink, whatever I would be more comfortable with that going to the voters. No, I don't want okay. that to be something that, even if we, even if the council can, I don't feel comfortable right. doing that. 
I would rather that the voters have to say on that. Okay. Because it's their neighborhood. I mean, it's mine too, but. Right. All right, the other thing is park fees. Uh, and I just want to discuss a little bit there. Uh, and this is just discussing. So y'all think about it and you know, stuff because, you know, majority of the of the maintenance budget is spent on this park. A lot of the money is spent on this park and stuff. And you know, we, we said that we, we wouldn't charge residents, but you know, the last couple of work other than Andrea, uh, and I think uh, Martha's son came down that one hour, but there's nobody really in the community that's came down and, and volunteered. No, but we did that because of them paying the, paying taxes. Well, they don't pay enough taxes. I know. I mean, I Is that why the services you have to offer? Parks I mean, and Recreation, yes, but that doesn't mean that we can't charge them for it. Right. We just have you to make it available. Yeah, right. Um, I mean, well, like I said, we've, we've got to figure out some way to offset some of this. Because I'm going to tell you, if you're not down here... Do we have that many? I mean... Of the citizens that are getting it for free? Not, I mean, not really, but I mean, you know, as we grow, you know, as the other people come in and stuff... That's true. That's true. You know, I mean, at some point, we're going to have to have somebody down here more often. Uh, especially in the summer. Through, you know, because uh, you can look over here and just see uh, uh, somebody, I don't know what you call them, rope pedals. Uh, I mean, they're, they're actually made out of silk or something. Oh, I know. You know. Mm -hmm. I mean, we're having more and more stuff. Uh, if you're not, you're and we're getting more and more people on the railroad. Ooh, well, there's a lot I of people coming south. They love the best. You know, and, and, and somebody's already scratched the uh, flagrant mm -hmm. from a couple places. And, I know. And I've already seen people just you know, so, so we've got to think about how to offset some of the costs or, or how to figure out some way to get a uh, better handle on the, on the park. Uh, because unless you're down here 24-7, it's hard to uh, keep up with it. So that's just something to think about. Um, you know, but this park, especially since the new playground equipment, Came in and it seems like it's, it's worse than it's cameras. Well, now we do have some. We have some, but well, we need the others put up too. Well, but I mean, that's, you know, that's part of the thing there. So, anyway, so the last item that I'd like to just mention to y'all uh, uh, there's a piece of property and, uh, that is in town that is for sale and and we met Lamar and we met with a gentleman whose name is Lee. Can't pronounce his last name, but anyway. Uh, he is wanting to put a upscale uh, gun range in town. Not not downtown, but on some of the property that's up on 136. Um, the property like I said, I don't understand all about guns, and, and like I said, we'll ask him more questions as, as it comes to life. But he's in a valley, and he says that's noise suppressing, you know, that it helps with the noise. Uh, and it's something that nobody can just go in and shoot. He, he takes quiet. And I mean, he's willing to teach, you know, kids from around here, or adults from around here, or whatever. But, but you just can't go up there and shoot any time you want to. I mean, it's going to be locked. You've got to be having an instructor or somebody with you to go up there. Uh, he says that he's in contact with uh, people that, uh, movie stars, uh, actors, that has to train uh, to how to shoot, you know, how to stance and stuff. He does that. He wants to give to the community uh, and everything. I talked to Lamar. I asked him because he was so close to the ranges there. And I asked him how he felt about it. And he said, well, as long as you can set some hours, 
you know, he didn't want to get up in, on a Sunday morning and be the Iraq out there going to college. And he wants to, you know, to stop, you know, have a decent hour at night, you know, because you know, he just don't want anybody to do it. Uh, so, Did you ask him what it would do to the property values of the surrounding property? Well, it's like, uh, it's, it's similar to the one, I mean, not, they've got one in over on uh, 140. Not this gentleman, but there's one Garland on 140. Mountain. Yeah, Garland yes. Mountain. So, uh, so they've got one in Cherokee County that they do a lot more than one. Yes, they actually have a restaurant there, yeah. too, on Garland. But, but now, he's not going to do that here. I mean, as far as Yeah, they got sued. And the this got would sued. be similar to what the no, sheriff has. <laughs> yeah. Up on 130. Yeah. The the neighbors about the noise. Wow. But now this would be one thing that that we would have to, you know, because I think I don't know how the zoning. I don't even think we got a government on the zone. So this is we one don't. thing that we would have to have public hearings and, and everything yeah. to to do. But the main thing I talked to James about it since he wasn't going to be here. I thought we had enough people. He thought it was a great idea just by listening. But we do need to, a lot more information. We need stuff. a lot more research on it. Uh, and, uh, uh, and it's on 136? Yeah, it's actually the SD problem. Oh. So it's right up here? Yeah. So like I say, that's just something that uh, he wanted to mention. Uh, that. And that's all I have. Uh, other than, well, I mean, the, the uh, renovations of the building is going along. Uh, we're doing some, uh, uh, some, some more upgrades. That I talked to the lady. She's going to be sending out a closeout package stating that we can use the money elsewhere. But there's, you know, like I say, I'm, I'm bringing the building up to code, but like I say, I still should have a lot of money left over. That's the case. Do you want me to work on a park grant? Uh, yes, but we have to have we have to finish these dollars. Oh, I know. Yeah, because I mean that could hurt. Us, but oh, now that we've got computers and everything back in. Oh, we do have our new computer finally in. Um, and we had to buy a new router. Uh, that one was uh, bad. That's right. not, I mean, I uh, said it's so awful. No, 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 this is the new one. one. Uh, this is the one. new router. Yeah, I mean, it fried somewhere. Remember the one that I, I will say maybe October, November? So what is the yeah. back? What is the backup system? What is it called? What's the, the UPS? UPS. <laughs> okay, so we do have that on on the computer and stuff. So 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 the power safety. surges or something that is you know, so uh, on that. Uh, but as you'll see, the uh, loan is done for the uh, equipment. Uh, the playground equipment is there. Uh, the road work is done. Like I said, I'm just doing uh, the road race in the building. Uh, we're going to go ahead and put new side and stuff on the middle outside the building because uh, that stuff is working and stuff. So, so we're just oh, going it's ahead. Time. And, it's time. So, so I am using the money to, to bring it up the code and to fix the right. So that way, I don't want to ever have to do this again. If right. I might mention it again, I'm quick. <laughs> so. But the water... Well, when, Jeff, you have to... How many times have we done this right? Uh, I mean, I don't know how many times. Really? I, I mean, mean, every time we think we have to fix, we start to start all over. Yeah, the water, the water issue, but we probably got to stop. We probably got to stop. So, uh, so anyway, like I say, at the next meeting, the, the, the building should be done, and we can have meetings done. We've got a guy that actually donating his time to build us a council uh, table. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. So you'll be in a new place. Yeah. Oh, so. so are we, are we, but we're keeping our, our tables, right? We're going to keep one of them, the big one or not. Because we don't have no place to put it. So like I say, we're, we're, like I say, this is going to be a U-shape. It's going to be real nice uh, countertop phone stuff, like they were doing that for. I mean, we got to buy the countertop, but other than that, that's, everything is just good. Fire department's going to buy a TV, so we can actually throw up stuff on the screen, agenda, or any pictures or anything. So we can, but no, where, where are you putting it back in the kitchen? 
Okay. Well, I know that. Why? What kind of cabinets? I'm yeah. thinking of if you're not, if we're not going to use those tables in that room, then they need to be in the kitchen for people whenever they're having these big dinners and stuff. It gives them plenty of room to set out their food, and people can go around. That um, was that was my fault. Now it's going to have a bar. A serve, I mean a server bar. Where they put food. Yes, ma'am. I promise you. <laughs> so anyway, anything else? No, but I'm just not parking near those tables. Okay. I don't know.